Let's cut to the chase and get to the point. The game is way too buggy. This is the main problem that Helldivers 2 is facing at the moment. Yes, other areas are also problematic. Yes, Arrowhead idea of fun is somehow way too Swedish and involves balancing the fun out of the game, and as a byproduct is making every single new weapon introduced unfun due to either their overbalancing, making the weapon useless, or random bug which does not allow the weapon to operate as they planned. And of course, this is affecting your willingness to grind for or buy the war bond associated with the weapon. But I digress, and all of this doesn't matter if you can't play the game. I actually gave up on the game a little while ago because of this. Oh, you just played a 45 minute game that was the only one you could play tonight. And the extraction is bugged and you can't do anything about it. Too bad! You finally get matched with fun people that are not necessarily the best, like you, but you're having a blast. Want to continue playing with them? Wait, the game just crashed at the beginning of the next game and now you're not able to see them in your friend list, although you added them. Too bad! You're trying to join a random game to have fun. Connection error, too bad. You're trying to join your friends playing the game. Connection error, too bad. Here I'm not talking about the existing plethora of bugs that can happen like collision bugs, UI bugs or slight mishap making the mechanic not operate exactly as designed. I'm talking about players not being able to play the game they spent 40 to 60 currency plus microtransactions on. And when I'm saying not able to play, I mean not able to play at all. Now the disk is occupied by close to 80GB of non-working software. I can see already people coming running out of the woodworks to say the patches are coming, the patches are coming, they are fixing the issues. They definitely have been working, but every single patch has come with a slew of additional problems and again most of them weren't related to balancing but fundamental stability of the game, which I'd like to remind you doesn't allow you to play the game. This is not mere annoyances, but game-breaking bugs I'm talking about. Arrowhead needs to face the fact that the QC is non-existent at best, or existent but either extremely ineffective at catching game-breaking bugs, or very effective but rendered ineffective through not having enough resources, be it in time or person power. No Arrowhead, we didn't need a new difficulty settings for the Ultra Hardcore players. Maybe added variety was nice, but not at the price of stability. And if you're wondering why people are leaving the game, just ask yourself two simple questions. How much time and how many chances are you willing to give to a game that just gives you trouble several times in a row, doesn't respect your time and straight up doesn't work after you keep on trying to debug it? And once you finally decided to give up, how likely are you willing to give it a final shot after you went through all of this and finally removed it from your desk? And when answering this, be honest, we all are more forgiven of our own barely working mess than the mess of others. This being said, when it does work and the balancing doesn't throw it in disarray, it's a blast and an exceptional game. And I think this is the main message here. Arrowhead, if you happen to find this video, a quick message for you. You already messed up a lot and each subsequent patch is eroding the trust of the ones still around and chasing people that just can't bear to have a non-functional game. You can still turn this around, but know that each time you fail, you're driving more people away, because people will give you only so many chances before completely dismissing you. I for one knows things are not easy, and being on the sideline, criticizing a codebase is easier than fixing it. But this is not coming from a bad place, on the contrary, and I really do hope that you can fix the game going forward and have a better pipeline. From the bottom of my heart, I wish you the best. On this note, I wish you all a good one. And maybe see you here or on Twitch. Have a good one. Ciao.